Hello there, Julian Pross here. In my previous tutorials, I showed you how to create a 3D model with the help of the DJI Mini 2 drone and the software called Agisoft Metashape Professional. As a lot of you ask me in the comments, I mean, not a lot, only three of you ask me how to create a 3D map but with the help of an open source software I said to do a bit of searching and I've noticed that we can use Meshroom and also Blender to get a similar result and we don't have to pay for, for these softwares as they are for free but obviously you can donate for the creators, for the developers I hope you will enjoy this tutorial because it was really fun for me to do it and the results were more than decent so enjoy it guys in order to proceed with the processing we'll have to download the software first going to Google we type in Meshroom and then we click on Alice Vision and from here we'll have to scroll down and we choose try Meshroom now we scroll again down to the bottom and we choose which one is suitable for us and then we press save and that's it once we've installed Meshroom software onto our computers we then need to open the software and drag and drop the pictures taken with the DJI Mini 2 or whichever drone have you used to take the pictures. As soon as the pictures come up we need to press start but before all this we need to make sure we create a project so we need to save it in order to continue with the processing and depending on your computer performances it will take in between half an hour and an hour and a half and now we have to wait until the process is finished in order to see the 3d model we will need to go to texturing click on it and then press start again once this process is done you will see a texturing layer underneath the structure from motion in order to see the 3d modeling texture we we'll need to minimize the point cloud dimension down to zero and now you're able to see how nice it looks without the point cloud above because meshroom has no export option We'll have to go back to the folder we created at the beginning of the app and from there we go to Mushroom Cache and we can see all the folders created but the most important one is the last one which is the texturing which we will use into Blender. To download Blender software we will need to type Blender on Google and we'll have to go to blender.org from there we choose download download again and we save the file where we want we then start blender software we go to file import and we choose wavefront and we go to the file we just created from Meshroom and we click OK as the file created in Meshroom is not in the right direction we will need to rotate it in order to get it in the right position and direction Because we don't need the whole object, 
we will need to clip it out. As you might notice, the 3D model created doesn't look really bad, even if it's created with an open source software like Meshroom and Blender. If you enjoy watching my videos and if you learn something from my tutorials, don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel because it will help me a lot. Thank you very much for watching and thanks again for supporting my channel. Take care guys.